Uh, today here we've got uh, international breeder Alan Bundy from the US of A. Um, we'd just like to get a bit of a spiel on Alan so I'll, I'll let Alan tell you um, where he's from and a little bit about him. Over to you Al. Thanks Mark. Uh, I am from Pennsylvania now uh, on the eastern side of the country. And, but I was born in uh, Zimbabwe, which is in Africa. I spent uh, 14 years there and uh, came back in 77. So we've been in America for a long time. Yeah, so that's, you didn't have budgies over there, Al, did you? Actually, uh, I was living in a boarding school and, uh, or a home. And they had budgies there, and it was the first time I ever was introduced to them. Oh, uh, rightio. That's interesting. Um, you ready for your first question, mate? Sure. Uh, what started your interest in budgerigars? Well, it goes back to uh, my Africa days. Uh, I actually bred homing pigeons and, you know, mice and some other small animals and then uh, we got, uh, my brother got some budgies, and that was where I was first introduced to them. So. Yeah, I think we all sort of bred something of some description when we start off in the hobby. Um, how long have you been in the hobby, El? Well, I've been in it around, uh, let's see, eight years in the 90s, and uh, about nine years this time, so 16 or 17 years. But only seriously the last nine years. I never showed back in the in the nineties. But I was learning about breeding then. So Oh right, yeah. Well, um yeah, I've noticed your budgies improving on on Facebook, which is a, a terrific way to keep uh, in touch and meet people from all over the world as you and me have met over over the airwaves ourselves. And um what club uh uh and level do you show at, Alan? Have you got a club over there? Well, I'm actually part of two clubs. Uh, the Maryland Budgerigar Society and also the Tri-State Budgerigar Society in two different states. I don't have a club in Pennsylvania, so I'm considering uh, starting one. Uh, Couldn't think of a better man to be running it myself. Well, I have some ideas. So I think I could, uh, I think we could possibly pull it off, but it takes more than one person. It takes a, a bunch of good people. It does, mate. And um, good people are sometimes hard to find when it comes to administration and running of clubs. Um, that's... <laughs> sorry? That's the truth. Yeah. Um, what varieties do you keep? Well, mostly normals, uh, but I have... I imported some spangles from Andy Hind in England, uh, so I have those. But my specialty is the clear body. Uh, that's the the rare bird that I really want to work with. So yeah, well, uh, um, a long way to go. <laughs> I've actually um, just got a couple of them here myself, but it's not exactly going to plan at the moment. But um, what's your best memory in the ho hobby? Wow, that's a good question. Um, probably my best memory was being a steward at the the club show in England oh, right, in uh, yeah. 2010. Oh. That was uh, my uh, probably my biggest experience. So I would say, yeah, that was that was pretty exciting. As it would be, I wouldn't mind being a steward there myself. Um, uh, Whose bird room would you like to spend a day at having a one-on-one -on -one budgie chat? Wow, another good question. Um, I don't know. I, I'm really interested in Paul Stannard's birds. He's really done a lot with those birds. So yeah. it would be fun to sit down and talk to him to see how he progressed with the feather that he has. Yeah. So I, I'm interested in, in spending more time. I did visit him. Uh, in 2011, but it would be nice to sit down with him and uh, have a long chat. Yeah, no, I, I'm of the same ilk. I wouldn't mind going to Paul's place myself. 
Um, there are many others, though. <laughs> many, many others I could spend a lot of time Oh, with. yeah, the bloody oath there is. Um, some beautiful birds over there in England, isn't there? Now, whose blood I, yeah. lines have influenced your start, if any? Or did you start them from scratch and whatever? How'd you well, go? You know, I, I started with nothing, but put the time in and did well. So I traveled a long distance to get good quality stock and that helped me get up to the champion status. But once I was there, I got rid of a lot of my old stud birds uh, and worked with, basically concentrated more on two lines that I could then blend into one line, you know, with more feather, more length, which is what I really needed to be competitive at the champion level. As we all do. <laughs> so the, the Collier the Collier stud in the U.S., which uh, goes back to a lot of Lutoff yep. birds and uh, the Andy Hine birds that I imported on the other side are bringing me the, the length in the bird and then the length of feather. So I'm trying to establish that and pull it together. Well, I've looked at your birds and I think it's coming together. They look quite impressive to me. Um, no, long way to go. Well, I was going to say, Thanks, name your top three bud regards in Australia, but I, I'd put it to you this way. Name your top three bud regards in the wor world, top three breeders that you think are the best birds or breeders. Yeah, that's, that's a really great question. I mean... Since I was in England, and that's really where I've been in contact with some of the top breeders, um, they've really advanced a lot in the last five years since I was there. It's, it's pretty amazing. Obviously, I'd love to meet Joe Manis. Uh, I did meet Lutoff uh, at the club show and at Chris Nell's bird room. So I have met some of those world-renowned. I haven't met Manis. But uh, those, those are two people that are just very innovative. They, they, they've got incredible talent. Um, I, I don't know. There's so many out there that are maybe not even known yep. that, that uh, are that well, I don't even know. So yeah. it's hard, hard to say. But yeah. the obvious question or response would be Joe Manis and... Uh, and Lutoff. Yeah. So, Top breeder in America? Wow. Uh, Stuart Sachs is probably at the top. Yep. Uh, there's uh, Henry Timms is probably up there. Uh, uh, Fred DiBernardo. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. A lot of top birds. I haven't been to a, a, a big show recently to really know outside of what I see on Facebook, uh, yeah. who, is, who is right there. Yeah, no, uh, well, Bob Wilson is definitely one of those who is, uh, who is, is coming on strong. So, and Jeff Hall. So those are, those are the big guys just off the top of my head, I think, here in the U.S. Yeah, no worries. Um, what was the best ever bird, and for what reason have you ever seen? What was your best ever bird, and for what my reason? Best, yeah, well, sorry. my best bird, uh, actually, I got really lucky with the Texas Clearbody and uh, was able to place seventh in the U.S. They placed the top ten, but I placed seventh at the 2011 All-American with that uh, Texas Clearbody. Uh, and uh, just a really super bird for me. Nah, That's probably the, the best bird uh, that, I've, that I've really, you know, because at that level, I was competing against champions, although I was intermediate at that point. So to play seventh was, was awesome. That's a good memory. Uh, um, what car or motorbike do you drive or ride, Al? <laughs> well, I, I'm just a humble guy, man. I, I don't have anything special. <laughs> I tell you, lately I've been spending a lot of time on my bicycle uh, riding around the country. So that's kind of the... the, the uh, you know, I'm like an adventurer, you know, that gets out there and meets the people right where they are. So no, no. that's the big thing lately. 
Oh, that's a good answer too. <laughs> um, <laughs> name the person. I work on cars for a living, so. What do you got? I, I work on cars for a living, so. Oh, all right, I, yeah. I just worked on a '72 uh, Plymouth Roadrunner. That was pretty exciting. I don't get to see those every day, so. All right. Name, name the person you would most like to have dinner dinner with, Al. Oh wow. Getting away from Budrigars, and unless you want to pick a Budrigar person. Yeah. Uh, oh well, I was thinking Budrigar. I w I would say I would love to sit down with uh, Lutoff. I did sit across the table from him with a, a group of people, but I would love to spend the day talking with him and uh, picking his brain and. Uh, and, and, and just learning as much as I could from him. I think that would be fantastic. Um, if you could only show at one show, which would it be? Well, I wish I could be competitive at a national show. That would be my goal. It's, it's a, a common answer, <laughs> a good one, <laughs> and it's a good, honest one. Um, what would you That'll do? What would you do, Al, if you won the lottery? That's what I really want to know. Yeah, right. That would be a different thing, then. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you won the lottery, Al? Well, you know, after uh, I gave my wife uh, her share. <laughs> <laughs> I see you walking past there uh, before, was it? <laughs> was that your wife walking past? <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would buy a place and have this amazing bird room. Uh, and and then I would I would go on a world tour and uh, and and get some quality stock that I couldn't necessarily afford. That's what I would do. No, no not a bad not a bad answer. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there it's any like a dream. <laughs> is there anything in budgies in the hobby itself that really irritates you? Well. I we haven't got all day though. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll tell you what. I was very, very active in the hobby, very passionate, and I let certain people uh, get to me, and by things that they said behind my back, and uh, I let it bother me. And it sort of killed my passion a little bit. Yeah, so, so I think I understand the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just don't want to be one of those people, you know. No worries. I'm um, a hobby. Good, good answer, because the next question is, do you have any other hobbies? I know bike riding's well, one of them. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm really passionate about photography, so that's something that I can do in this hobby. Uh, I want, I find a, an extreme lack of quality photography in the hobby. Uh, one of my goals would be to visit top bird rooms in the world and help create a poster of current birds of every different mutation. That's one, one goal that I would like to do with my photography skill. No, I might have to get that poster. Yeah, that would be that would be great. <laughs> might be a bit of a sale for it there, a bit of a sales pitch. Yeah, yeah, it's all about the hobby. I, I I'm not in it for making money. No, I'm glad to hear that. Um, what's your favourite movie and actor, mate? Huh. <laughs> it probably used to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, I, I don't watch as many, many movies as I once did, so it's kind of hard to answer that. I I, uh, I don't know. I, I like I like documentaries, so I like realism, you know? <laughs> no, not, not a problem. <laughs> um, you do know Tom dump, dumped our girl over here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> um, what? He's he's a little. They're all a little weird, man. <laughs> oh, I sort of think that myself, but we probably all got a bit of that in us, Al. <laughs> yeah, uh, true. <laughs> what that is one. your favourite food and restaurant, mate? So if we if we go over there, it mightn't be in America, but if we do, and we're in Pennsylvania or somewhere, we might decide to pop in there. 
hey, well, you know, you come over and I'll, I'll, take, you, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. I'm not a fussy eater. I got that from growing up in Africa. So I don't, I can eat anything. You know, just happy to, get, like, happy to get that? a bottle of rice and a drink of water, mate. <laughs> I, I can do that. You no. know, that's not really my first choice, but so I, I you know, I'll, I'd eat anything. I don't really have a favorite restaurant. No, no maybe, worries. Maybe, Go on. I used to eat out every day on the job and I kind of got sick of that, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> too, much, too much fat in the food. Yeah. I <laughs> have tell you seen us Americans lately? <laughs> Most of us are fat. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, we're all all getting a bit of that in us over here yeah. too. But um, <laughs> mine's from beer. <laughs> what I'll football? What footy team do you follow over there, Hell? Well, for us, football is American football. Yeah, so, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm I'm an Eagles fan, but I'm not a diehard fan. My wife is though, so, so the game's always on here every every week. Uh, what's their full name, but? Oh. Where are they from? They're from they're from Philadelphia. So it's Pennsylvania. A, what do they call the Pennsylvania in Eagles they're or called the, they're called the Philadelphia Eagles. No, no worries, we might look out for them. We got one of our men over there trying to crack the big time, but he's not going quite as good as he thought. <laughs> well, I, I, like I said, I'm not a diehard fan. They're they're uh, they choke too much for me. Hey, hey, quit talking about my Eagles. <laughs> Well, I go, I go for the ro I go for the roosters. <laughs> um, are you in a relationship? <laughs> I think you are. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm in the married kind. Yeah. Where is she? Where'd she go? <laughs> I'm, I'm lock, stock, and barrel, or however they say that. Uh, uh, no worries. She's got a name, has she? Yeah, it's Laurie Bundy. No. Laurie. Sorry, Laurie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and what do you do for a quid, mate? What's your occupation? I work on cars for a living, replacing uh, glass. Oh, know, right, yeah. All sorts of cars. Yeah, I've been doing that for about 28 years. No. 20 of it on my own, so I'm self-employed. Well, um, that sort of draws to a close of me questions, but, geez, I'd like to thank you, Alan, for um, taking the time to come on here and do this interview, which I only asked you 10 minutes ago, which is fantastic of you to um, drop everything and jump straight online for me. Anytime, Mark. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I've, I've got, got nothing to hide. <laughs> I've I, I got no doubt we can actually have a few more chats like this too now, so um, now that we've got each other's address... But um, yeah, it's a pleasure, Al, to look at your birds on Facebook, and I think you're doing a fantastic job over there in America. And keep up the good work, and um, yeah, obviously we'll have a chat, and I'll uh, add you to the group. How's that sound? Thank you, Mark, and uh, one day I hope to get over and see you. No, no worries. We'll have 10 minutes at the birds, and then it's to the pub, and maybe get the boat, and we'll go on fishing. <laughs> Hey, that's that, that would be a good time. Hey, you've seen the fishing photos, have you? <laughs> I have. I like that. Yeah, we do a bit over like here. Yeah, we're pretty laid back, Al. So um, you're welcome to stay here anytime in your travels of the world, and that's... not a problem. And don't look at me bird room, and me birds ain't that good, but um, we we can still talk about fishing. <laughs> I've seen some good stuff your way, Mark. Uh, no worries, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Alan, and um, take care. See you later.